Hi everyone, I'm Nur Hafiz Adi Bimak Saman. Did you know that the rate of payment that we made for our electrical energy consumption is influenced by the rate charge called tariff, which refer to how much we were charged for every kilowatt hour that we use. How did the government set the margin of this tariff? They have a few factors that influence the rate of tariff. One of them is the repairing cost due to the electrical system failure. Energy provider like TMB need to spend for the cost of corrective action and this cost is included in the tariff determination process and consumer need to pay for the cost. Basically, by improving the properties of insulation use on power cable, it might prolong the lifetime of the power cable and can reduce the tariff and electricity bill that we need to pay. Currently, the type of insulation used for power cable in Malaysia is made of polymer-based material which is cross-link polyethylene or known as NSLPE. Recently, research has been conducted to improve the properties of SLP insulation cable by introducing nanometer size of silicon dioxide into the SLPE. The main idea is to improve two main insulation properties of SLP which are partial discharge and breakdown strength in which both properties are the indication for the performance and lifetime of the power cables. However, the agglomeration of nanosilica within the SLP is the root cause that distracts the improvement level of insulation properties. Conventionally, two approaches have been introduced in the previous finding which are chemical treatment and heat treatment. However, they have some critical drawback for both techniques such as required complex system, toxicity, pollution, less effectiveness, exposure to the contaminated condition and cost ineffective. Therefore, plasma treatment have been introduced to tackle the issue of agglomeration of nanosilica within SLP. The dispersion of nanosilica within SLP was found to be uniform. Hence, it absolutely works to resolve the agglomeration of nanosilica within SLP by increasing its surface compatibility with SLP. Besides, the insulation properties such as partial discharge and breakdown strength also significantly improved by 62.85% and 15.52% respectively as the nanosilica were treated using plasma before it was added into the SLP. From this finding, it can be proven that this technique of plasma treatment is the new approach to improve the insulation properties of SLP, which potentially prolongs the lifetime of power cable, reduce repairing costs, and beneficially to the consumer like us, since it is potential to bring down the tariff that we pay nowadays, this is the beginning of the less you pay.